So I'm going to review um, how I would solve this problem. Um, I'm going to model that for you and then I'd like you to turn to the next slide after you watch this video and try it yourself. Members of the Gardner High School Yearbook Committee need to put 1,344 student photos on 24 pages in the yearbook. They want to put the same number of student photos on each page. How many student photos will they put on each page in the yearbook? I'm going to read this to myself quietly a second time, and I'm going to highlight the important information as I read. Okay, so after I read this a second time, so it's always important to reread a problem, I can tell that this is going to be a division problem because I have a total of 1,344 photos that have to be put on only 24 pages, and we want the exact same number on each page, which reminds me of equal groups. So you can think of this as 24 pages times blank gets you to 40, or 1,344 photos divided into 24 pages equals blank. So I'm going to start, I'm going to use partial quotients, and I'm going to I'm gonna use the pencil button, but you can use the text button if that works better for you. And I'm going to start with 24 times 10, because that's nice and easy. I know that's 240. Now that's not that many photos, especially when you have 1,344, but let's see where it brings us. So now I have to subtract 1,344 photos minus 240 photos. So that's if I put 10 photos on 24 pages. And that leaves me with 1,104 photos. So I have a lot more photos, so I definitely have to make large, I have to put more photos on each page. 24 pages. I'm going to put 20 photos on each page this time. And I know that that's just double what this is, so that would be 480 photos. So now I have to take away 480 photos from my 1,104 photos. And I'm going to have to regroup my photos here. So 4 minus 0, yes, but I can't do 0. I can't take away 0 from 8. So I have to regroup that. I'm sorry, I can't take away 8 from 0. And that leaves me with 2. Same here, I cannot take away 400 from 0. So I have to regroup that, and that leaves me with 624 photos. So again, I'm going to put 20 more photos on each page. So far I put 10, then 20, and now another 20 on each page. Wow, these um, yearbook pages can sure fit a lot of photos on each page. Now that's another 480 photos. I'm going to take that away from my 624. Let's see how many photos that leaves me with. Again, I can't take eight photos away from, or 80 photos away from 20 photos. I need to regroup. Now I have 144 photos left. So that means I'm not going to put 20 more on each page. I'm not even going to put 10 more on each page. I'm going to go with five more on each page, which I know is half of 240 because half of five is 10. So that gives me 120 photos. So I'm going to take that away here, 120. Let's see how many photos I have left. We're getting to the very end here. 24 photos. Perfect. That means I can put one more photo on every single page. And that would get me to zero. So now I have to add up my partial quotients here. First I put 10 photos on 24 pages, then 20, then 20, then 5, then 6, then 1, 20, 40, 56. So that means 56 photos can go on each page. Now I'd like you to practice on the next slide by reading the problem at least twice and solving it here as neatly as you can. 